I got the non-good ECM removed from the other bus. Here it is. So here is our non-good ECM. And this is the bad PCM. So as you can see, they're both identical. So now I'm going to take this to the engine so we can install it. Let's install this PCM on the bus and see if this bus is going to start. We're going to install this ECM. So if the problem is just the ECM, this bus should start after we get this ECM connected to the bus's wiring. We got the ECM bolt tightened, so now we're going to reconnect the connectors of the ECM. So we're going to reconnect the first electrical connector. Alright, so we got all the electrical connectors of the ECM reconnected. So now it's the moment of the truth. Let's start the engine. Let's crank the engine and see if it's going to start. So right there, as you can hear, the engine is running. It started. So the problem on this bus was a bad ECM. So we put a non-good ECM on this one. Now the engine starts. So we have made the right call. This school bus needs a new ECM. I'm surprised that the engine started and there are no lights on on the dash. If I release the park brakes, this park light is gonna go off. So there are no lights on on the dash. I mean, this ECM has to be programmed but for some reason, this one started the engine. But I believe when we get the new one that's going to be blank, we have to get it programmed. Okay, so this is going to allow us to move this bus. I'm going to put it in gear. We are moving, guys. So this school bus needs an ECM. After we put an ECM on this, this is gonna be good to go. As you can see, we're driving it. I'm just driving here on the field. good to go we made the right call 
I feel comfortable ordering a new ECM for this school bus. So this is good. This engine sounds great. So we're good to go. Here is our donor non-good ECM. So we're good to go. At this point, we can wrap up this video. I'm gonna get a new ECM, program it, put it on, and this will be fixed. So let's go back in the bus and wrap up this video. Before we wrap up this video, I'm gonna do a code scan to see if our scan tool is gonna be able to talk to the non-good ECM that we put on the bus. Although the engine is starting, so we're good, our problem is the ECM, but let's see if our scan tool is gonna to be able to communicate with it. Remember before, we couldn't talk to the ECM. So let's scan the modules on the bus. So the scan tool is done scanning all the control units on the vehicle. Let's go straight to the engine computer. Let's see if we can talk to this one. Okay, so we're gonna confirm the key is on. I'm sorry for the buzzing noise in the background. All right, so right there, we are inside the engine computer. We have no fault codes in the engine computer. So before, we couldn't even read codes out of the other ECM. So let's go to our data pids, so parameters. So right here, we can see the engine data pids. Okay, so all of these are our engine data pids. Okay, so that's it. We need a new ECM for this bus. Okay, so no codes in the engine computer. Okay, so I feel comfortable replacing this ECM. We don't have a problem in the network, in the CAN bus network, because now our scan tool can talk to the ECM. So let's back out, we're good to go. All right, so I feel comfortable now ordering a new ECM from Cummings. So now let's wrap up this video. I'm gonna leave this right over here. The engine on this bus now starts so we're good to go. The problem was a defective PCM. So this PCM is bad. We installed a non-good PCM on the bus and now the bus runs and all is well. So since our scan tool can now communicate with the non-good PCM that we put on the bus, that tells me that the wiring on the bus is good. Our CAN bus network is good. The PCM is getting power and ground, so the problem was this bad PCM. So I feel comfortable ordering a brand new PCM from Cummings, and then we're gonna program it, install it on the bus, and this bus will be back in service very soon. So I'm gonna leave this right over here. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give it a thumb down. But if you do, you gotta tell me why so we can make better videos in the future. If this is your first time here, subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. If you have any comments, questions, criticism, leave them in the comment box. Thanks for watching. See you next time.